Welcome to the Electronic Gadgets channel and this is a unusual gadget as this channel usually focuses on gadgets that are um, you know below thirty dollars but like I say in every video there are exceptions to the rule when I think a gadget should have its video and uh, today's gadget well is a 50 inch TV from Toshiba so this is the uh, brand new TV here that I paid uh, $698 on Amazon. It is the Toshiba 50L3400 uh, UC television. So the model is 50L3400 UC. And this is a full HD 50 inch TV. It's a LED smart TV. Now, I, I call it a half smart TV, and I'll uh, explain why a little later. So, uh, it's a 50 inch LED TV, very thin. Uh, it supports a resolution of 1920 by 1080p, and it's a uh, clear scan 120 hertz television. The TV itself has a lot of features but it's not a full smart TV so you know a smart TV does have more features than this TV actually has uh, first of all if we look at the TV itself you'll notice that the TV is um, you know very thin and we're going to just put the camera on the side so it shows you how thin it is it's actually a very thin HD television here and um, it has of course LED lighting so this television has really a very beautiful picture. As all LED TVs, it has its little flaws. Uh, you know, for example, on the darks, uh, the blacks are not always very black and stuff like that. But this TV has something called um, dynamic picture. And what it does is when the image seems to be darker, it actually lowers the lighting automatically so that the dark becomes black um, I thought that feature might actually make me a little problematic but actually no I find it that it's quite nice so in fast-paced action movies it's quite good um, it has several features if we look at the menu here um, first of all this is the included remote control basic but does pretty much what you need to do um, in the menu itself well you have you know different options but in the uh, image modes you have dynamic standard uh, film gaming and PC so depending on what you actually hook up the TV itself will adjust uh, you know the brightness and the, the way that it reacts to fast-paced action uh, for the sound, it has um, two speakers inside that are okay, but um, I must say that if you want to really use this TV and have a very immersive um, cinema-like te television experience, I think I'll have to hook up a um, you know something like a uh, a sound system of some sort. Uh, the speakers that are inside are seven watts each it's stereo uh, like I said it's good you know if you just want to have sound if you're not that much of a movie fanatic and stuff like that it could be okay but I think if you want to have surround sound you'll have to buy something like a theater uh, home theater uh, amplifier and all the uh, TV itself has very limited smart features especially on the apps. For example, you get Netflix and YouTube. So if we focus here, you can see that we have the Netflix app that you can actually start up and the YouTube app. The problem with the apps, and uh, I must say that's kind of a, a little sad, Netflix is not bad. I've actually been watching my Netflix account and stuff from the TV itself, and it works very well. It actually has a very clear and very nice picture. Um, it does tend to have a um, kind of a, I would say, a picture that's a little bit out of focus, as we could say, on the first minute or two of a Netflix movie or um, any 
show. But after probably the fact that the uh, buffer gets full in the TV, it actually becomes more of an HD picture. Uh, the other thing that you have, of course, is the uh, YouTube app. And if we look at YouTube here, for the YouTube app, that's where it's a little more complicated because the YouTube app has this annoying way of actually working. It's the fact that you have to, uh, for example, if you go on search and you want to search, then the thing is, that's how it's going to be. You'll have to use the remote control to go through a row of letters on the top. And uh, Toshiba says there's uh, actually a keyboard that can actually be purchased. I've tried installing just to see if it works my Logitech keyboard with the little USB uh, thing and uh, it doesn't really work well. Uh, it does have features but it doesn't let me write which would have been nice actually. Uh, so you got YouTube, you got Netflix and it works well both on YouTube and Netflix I must say it works very well. Um, the other features that you get is what we call media share. Media share uh, this TV has something called DLNA and that's very nice because if you enable DLNA on all of your devices in your home you can actually stream uh, video, music and, and pictures through your Wi-Fi network. That's a very nice feature. Another thing that it does add is the fact that you can plug in a USB key or a hard drive on the USB port and you'll be able to actually watch content that's on that external drive. That's also a nice feature. So these are the smart features of this TV. Like I said, limited in apps, but it does pretty much do what probably most people want to do with a smart TV in most cases. Now, if we look at the TV itself, the back of the TV, what we have in the back is this. So here we go. I'm going to go to the back of the TV here. Uh, the TV has very limited inputs. That's also something that's uh, to note. Now, it's better than a lot of, in of TVs that I've seen, actually. But it still lacks on some inputs, of course. So here, if we look at the inputs, you get, of course, a LAN input if you want. TV is Wi-Fi enabled, so for the apps like Netflix and YouTube, you just uh, you know go into the settings and add your uh, Wi-Fi network. Works very well. Uh, the Toshiba does recommend that you use a five gigahertz Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network for best performance. Mine is 2.4 and works very well. So uh, you know, depends on probably your location. Uh, TV has three HDMI inputs that are actually full right now. Uh, one is my Apple TV, one is an uh, uh, Android TV box, and the other one is my cable box uh, with HD television. It has uh, inputs for uh, digital inputs component, and it also has regular component input if you have an old VCR, for example. Uh, but you do have to switch inside your television to get that uh, working right. Uh, it has an optical audio out so you can actually plug in a home theater sound system which is very nice. Of course it has the regular um, input for an antenna or the cable if you want to use analog or uh, receive digital over the air with an antenna. It's gonna work very well. Um, the uh, side of the TV has a USB port so um, that's also another nice feature. So here on the side of the, the television, right here on the top, there's a USB port that I'm not showing. And there are buttons right here for uh, on off and uh, volume control and uh, switching inputs uh, if you don't want to use the uh, remote control itself. Uh, TV is well designed, doesn't come very hot actually, uh, stays quite cool and that's something that surprises me a lot for an HDTV as much, most HDTV are pretty, uh, run quite hot usually. Uh, for the rest it has a nice silver matte 
finish and does look very modern so when you actually uh, you know have it in place everything works very well and uh, it's actually a very very nice television set actually um, picture quality is very good I've been enjoying uh, very very nice crisp pictures of course like a lot of HD TVs of lower price when there's a lot of movement so in um, if for example you're watching a fast-paced action movie it does blur a little bit because of the uh, responsiveness of the TV itself uh, which is difficult for most televisions that are under a thousand and even above a thousand dollars a lot of these TVs are actually uh, still do that because of the refresh rate and so on so this is LED backlit television and uh, on an LCD of course because all, all, all LED backlit TVs are LCD TVs actually so uh, that is pretty cool uh, it's an actual 49.5 inches of picture view the 50 inch comes from the edges of the TV which are quite thin uh, weighs at about 30 pounds which is not that bad actually for a television and that's including its stand that is included in the box right here uh, easy to operate easy to install and um, actually quite nice uh, the average price I paid $6.98 but I've noticed that the average price on the web is more like $750 to $800 so I think I got a good deal on it and I've uh, been using it for about two weeks now and so uh, this is actually a very nice set if you're looking for something that uh, is not too expensive and does the job I think you've got a winner here in this uh, smart TV here for Toshiba so this is pretty much what you get and uh, works very well all uh, response of HDMI are extremely nice and um, of the features that are inside is the fact that if you actually um, you know stop everything TV will shut down in 15 minutes on its own um, so you know I think it's a really nice television and um, does give for the price a great viewing experience and great picture quality it is very bright uh, I actually lowered the settings in the TV so that uh, because it was just too bright and works very well colors are uh, very nice actually very close just by itself in the settings they are very close to reality I've been watching pictures that I took of uh, you know some colorful uh, outdoor pictures that I took and been checking the you know the quality of the uh, colors and the sharpness and it's very close of course like every TV it's not too bad to uh, if you uh, have somebody of experience around you to maybe calibrate the TV and have it a little more um, you know into its natural way of displaying things but um, you know that's still very nice out of the box in the settings if you are not really a tech type person just use the standard settings and it's gonna work very very well so this was a quick review and look at the Toshiba 50L 3400UC 50 inch LED television and uh, hope that uh, gives you an idea of uh, should you or should you not buy it actually so um, that is all up to you of course depending on what you want to do one last maybe uh, option here the USB port supports many many video formats uh, MPEG, MPEG2, AVI, MKV pretty much everything is included now I've had several types of files um, go through the TV on that USB port and one 
is kind of problematic. It's the MKV format, which is a very popular format for iDef videos. And everything that I've plugged in with MKV format, uh, half of the time doesn't have audio. And that's kind of a problem here. Uh, so be aware that MKV files are not very, very uh, good on this TV. As for, you know, the video plays, it's just there's no audio most of the time. But for the rest, all other formats work very well. And uh, I've been, you know, enjoying watching all sorts of shows and stuff through that uh, function. So uh, hopefully you enjoy uh, this review and that uh, maybe it's going to give you an idea should you or should you not buy this television. If you enjoy our channel, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have questions on this television. Does it do this or that? Well, let us, uh, you know, just ask away and try to answer the question the best we can. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.